Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. In this video I'm gonna show you how to use liquid bottled injector cleaner to combat carbon buildup inside a gasoline direct injection engine. Because I have had great results with CRC intake valve cleaner, but the problem is that this is empty. Since I bought a bunch of these, I have not uh, been able to find any other uh, parts store that uh, has this product. So I have to improvise. After a lot of research, I concluded that you can use detergents on liquid injector cleaners to uh, combat the carbon buildup in a direct injection engine. If you want to know uh, how I came to that conclusion, I'm gonna put a link over here so you can go to my other video. But right now I'm gonna show you how to use these injector cleaners on any car or truck. So let's get to it. So the first thing you're gonna do is that you have to remove your intake uh, and just expose the butterfly on your engine. In a turbo car you can also do this, there is no problem. What we are uh, gonna do in a nutshell is we are gonna pour the in fuel injector cleaner directly to the throttle of the engine so it can go directly into the cylinders. Now it's very important that before you start the truck or car or whatever you disconnect your MAF sensor because the MAF sensor is a resistance that heats up when the car is running. So if you start the truck and there is no airflow in the MAF, the resistance can melt. So just disconnect it before starting the truck. Make sure that the truck is at operating temperature. In my case, it's 100 degrees centigrade, 212 Fahrenheit. Now you have to run the truck at 2000 RPM. If you have a buddy or a friend, just ask them to help you. And if you're like me, that you are forever alone, just get a bat. Just like that. Now the check engine is on because I disconnected the map, so that's what it's reading. Now I'm gonna use Tecron Concentrate. Now I'm gonna let the truck rest for an hour or so, give the, the, all the polyether amines and the detergents on the uh, Tecron concentrate to work its magic. After one hour I'm gonna heat it again, but this time with Polaris carbon clean fuel treatment. One hour later. You have to uh, reassemble the truck before anything else and reconnect the math. I let the truck rest for another hour after I put the Polaris carbon fuel treatment and uh, I went for a ride. The truck started uh, emitting smoke like if I was using some sort of uh, sea foam or other uh, cleaning agent on it. Now what you have to do is that you have to take it very easy and just apply light throttle at the beginning because the truck will start to misfire because there is still uh, some liquid in the manifold and that the engine needs to consume so that will make the truck like uh, go rich and bulk but that's just uh, the, for the first uh, couple of minutes and after that the truck will be running just fine and then you can just go full throttle after a few minutes of driving and after that the truck is like new. Now the check engine light will remain on for uh, a day or so but a day or so later uh, the truck will realize that everything is normal again and it will turn off the check engine light. You will have no problem. This is the method that I have been using for the last year or so to keep my engine running at prime condition and the fuel economy and everything it's just like the truck was new so it's it's working pretty good for me so far. Pass this video to a friend that has a direct injection engine and wants to clean it. So if you like this video please leave a big thumbs up if you like what you see in this channel please subscribe and as always have a wonderful day i'll see you next time